Hi everyone, Infinity here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 different ideas for your secret beach, or for Red's beach. But before we get into the video, look at my bedroom, guys. Look at this upgrade. Doesn't this look amazing? Don't you guys just want to come and dream with me? Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, Kelly, for gifting me all of these items. All right, let's get started. So the first island that we're going to go to is called Tulululululu. <laughs> oh, look, there's Henry. I had to talk to Henry. All right, let's get into the beach here. So the beach is kind of tucked away here behind uh, the resident area of this island. And I love the use of the, all of the pirate items. Speaking of pirate, I decided to channel my inner pirate and wear the pirate's dress and my pirate boots. The only thing I'm missing is my eye patch and my hat. All right, so the next island has us going to Hogwarts and take a look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Stunning, stunning. I love the jail, jail bars, sorry. I love the use of the utility poles, the well right in the middle, and then there's, uh, there's some of the pirate uh, items as well. This looks so good. So all of the islands that I visited in this video, I will be linking their dream addresses down below so you guys can take a look at them for yourselves. But look how good this look, looks. Doesn't this look so good? I love it. And then the silos on the outside. It's like a castle dungeon for red. <laughs> it looks so good. All right, so the third island is called Timeless. And look where the creator of this island placed their lighthouse. This looks so good as well. So if you guys do struggle or are struggling on how to decorate your secret beach, definitely take a look at these. Leave a comment below of which one is your favorite. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content and hit the notification bell so you guys know when I upload a new video. And then the cannons on either side of the lighthouse. This looks so good. And I like how the stars, like the star fragments are just dropped here just randomly, they look so good. I didn't actually realize that the pirate's chest right there actually has coins kind of spilling out of it. What great little detail. All right, so we're off to the fourth island. This is called Oleander. And look at the use of the simple panels with the kids' tents here. Doesn't that look so good? So the creator of this island used some of the art that red sells as decor. And look at the scattered papers. <laughs> I love it. And then they put the kids tent on the beach along with the bike. So it's like you rode your bike there and then you can camp there and wait for red. I just wanted to get all the angles to show you guys so whoops <laughs> I didn't mean to sit there I actually can't wait to come back to all of these islands to do like a full tour all right and here we are on to Fanimal Look at the leaning tower back there. That just fits this area perfectly. Mm -hmm. 
and the use of the white flowers. This looks so good. And again, some pirate items as well. I don't think we can have a Red's Beach without any pirate items. <laughs> and the waterscaping. This looks really nice. All right, and now we are at Luna Bay. And take a look at this lead up. Whoops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't this look so nice? Look, I got stuck there trying to take a picture. <laughs> look at me. I'm like, where should I go? All right, let's try that again. I just wanted to get like the best angle here. <laughs> Look, I got stuck again. But again, with the pirate items and the stall on the side, and then the skull on top of that barrel was actually playing like one of KK's songs that just fit this area perfectly. There, finally got a good angle. <laughs> this is stunning. I was trying to see what song it was playing, but it wouldn't let me. All right, so here we are on to another island called Hogwarts. And that single black flower there. I was like, eee, left me a little distressed. <laughs> I love the use of the stone lion dogs here and the waterscaping on each side. And those tall lanterns, the stone lanterns, they're gorgeous. And then just the walk up, the lead up to the beach. It's so nice I had to do it twice. <laughs> Take a look at this shot that I got. Oh, with that shooting star. Gorgeous. All right, this island is called Mystic Cave. And look at the placement of the scorpion and the tarantula. And there was like a little fortune teller area as well. And the lighthouse on the beach. There, <laughs> the fortune teller area. All these scorpions, they creep me out. I haven't come across a scorpion yet because I didn't start in that season. I'm in the tarantula season right now, but I haven't actually seen a tarantula on my island yet. But they freak me out. <laughs> I like the use of the tiki torches here and the skeleton in the background. Look how good this looks with the palms waving. Gorgeous. And then we are on the next island called Koholint. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I love the use of the jail bars here and the wanted poster. Look how good the wanted poster looks. <laughs> Yes, Red, you are totally wanted for selling us fakes. Trying to dupe us. And the use of the brick path here. This island is beautiful. The 
the lead up to this beach is just gorgeous. I love all the waterscaping. All right, and this is the last one here. This is called Newland. I love the use of the palm trees here and the black flowers. It looks so good. And then there's more pirate items on the beach here. So it's like the beach to the beach. To look at the ring around the around the tree right there, the stone ring. I love that. I actually want that code. <laughs> This looks so good. And then again with the black flowers on the beach. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's given you some inspiration for how to decorate your secret beach. Leave a comment below if you like this video and if you want to see more like this, more inspirational videos on hard to decorate areas or just to get some more ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!